Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku on a very rainy Saturday, February 10th, 2024, here in North Texas, in the heart of the United States. And I counted the digits when I was transposing them. There's 23 of them, and no repeats in the top three rows. I've only got one each of 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. In the middle three rows, I do have some repeats. I can actually place a 9 in box 4. And I know 5 is in one of two places in row 5, based on where 5s exist in rows 4 and 6. Okay, if 5 and 9 are out of the picture, then I have 1 each of 2, 7, 6, 1, 4. I think I'm done. And as far as the bottom three rows, I'm only going to get an 8 in two places in row 7. Then when I look at columns, I've got two, that, oh, I can place a two, actually, and that, this two and then this two is going to combine to force a two in one of these two. Five is already there, so that's a hidden two, five pair at the left and center rows of box six. Well, let's see. Uh, seven is one of these two, which I could have seen by box logic, but oh, that's a seven. I can't go here because of this seven. Okay, so seven's one of these three. Okay, one, which I was initially looking at, is now one of these two. Eight can't go here, so eight must go in one of these two. Okay, these are 3, 4, and 8. Except this is an 8. Okay, there's my first triple in the grid. Anyway, 1's uh, I've placed, 2's I've placed, 3, 4, I have no digits, 5, 6, I've only got 1. Uh, 7, I have all three of them, 8. Oh. Okay, 8's in one of these two, and this 8 combined to put 8 in one of those two. So on the left side of box 1 and 9, I've only got one digit. Okay, now when I look at the middle columns, these two 5's are going to force a 5 in the center cells of box 8. Okay, 9 is going to be somewhere on the left of box 8. I think that's all I get. On the right-hand side of the three columns, the only repeat digit I have is a 4. I'm going to put a 4 in one of these on the left side of box 3, and I think that's all I get now. Uh, this is a triple in row 5. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 9. These are going to be 3, 7, 8. Of which that's not 8. Eight. There we go. Okay, so these are a triple. The remaining unhighlighted cells. Two, three, five, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's going to be one, four, six. Which this is none of those, and that's not four. Okay, that's not going to help me here, other than filling this cell, which is not 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9. So this ends up as 1, 6, 8, which doesn't help with any of these other cells, does it? Help. All I know, yeah, 3 is one of these two in the row. Ooh, actually, wait a minute. Yeah, this can't be three. We figured out this was a triple, and that was a triple. Three is definitely one of these two, which means this is not three. Okay, that might help later, maybe. Okay, I've got one, two, five, six, seven in column one. I need three, four, eight, and nine. This cell... At the center left cannot be 3 or 4. This is 8 or 9. 
This is 3, 4, 8, because it can't be 9. And these are going to be from 3, 4, and 9, because neither of them can be 8, but that's not 4. Okay, what about those two? These are not 1, 2, 7, or 8, but because they turn a corner, I can only look at box logic, and then I have to look at row and column separately. The, neither of these can be 9 by column, neither of those can be 6 by row logic, so we end up with that configuration. Hmm. Well, let's see, where do 2 and 7 go in row 2? They can't go here because of these two 7s. 2 can't go here of this two, so two is enforced in one of these two cells. So this two in this virtual two, remember it can't go in any of these cells, that forces a two in one of these two cells in row three, but it can't go here because of this two, so that two is placed at the bottom center of box two. Now that, in turn, that's going to force a 2 at the top or center right of box 8. Well, unfortunately, I think that's all I get from that. Okay, 7 is not quite as restricted, because 7 can go here or here. And I only have three, four, five places in the row, so one, two, six, seven, eight, nine are still possible. Well, neither of these are two or seven. This sees eight, nine, and that sees one. Uh, six is still possible, as is eight, but nine isn't. Let's see, 1, 2, 6, 8, 9, well, neither of these can be 8. Uh, that's not 9, that's not 6. Yeah, and as expected, the only thing from the row logic I get is a 2 in one of two spots. Do I have enough to fill in some parts of row 1? If I look at the cells unrestricted by box 2, maybe. Okay, these are not 2, 7, or 8. Strictly by row logic. And then that one sees 1 in its column. None of these are 4, 5, 9. Well, that's interesting. Oh, none of these are 1, 2, 7, 8, 4, 5, or 9, so that's a hidden 1, 3, 6, triple. Okay, well that helps greatly, because these cells cannot now be 1, 3, or 6. And this now sees 4 and 9, that's actually a 5 that's placed, so this isn't 5. And this is not 5, and can't be 3, 4, or 6. It can't be 3 or 6. So that's 4 or 9, which makes sense. Let's see, 1, 3, 6, 1, 3, 6, okay. So this can't be 1 or 6. This is 7 or 8. This is the other 7 or 8. Uh, that'll sort out the triple in row 5. That's a 3, that's 7, that's 8. Because this can't be 7 or 8 now because of this pair. 3 comes back up. This isn't 3. Hmm. 
Okay. Um, oh, wait a minute. Okay, this five sorts out two five in row five, and now that row is done. This two says this isn't two, and that one is. I almost have a triple, but not quite, in the bottom row of row three. But I do have some interesting logic that I can now apply to column nine. Look at the digits placed and given. I have all the evens. So the only thing I'm missing are odd digits. Right? So, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, but this sees 3 and 9, and 5. So, oh, wait a minute. This sees 3, 5, 7, and 9. That's a hidden 1 by odd even logic. This is not 1. Therefore, that's not 1, and that is. Okay, so 1, 7. These are going to be 3, 5, 9. This sees 5 and 9. That's a 3. So these two are 5 and 9. And column 9 is complete. Let's see. These are going to be the other parts of 1, 6, 8, or I think. Okay, what about these two? Those aren't one, two, three, five, eight. So they're only from four, six, seven, and nine. This sees nine, as does that for the same reason. This also sees four in its column. Okay, that gives me a hidden six, seven pair. So four, nine, four, not four. Okay, 6, 7 says that's not 6. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. Okay, so this is another 1, 6. Wait a minute. Okay, I think I made a mistake. Because I've got a 6, 7 here. This can't be 6. Well, oh, maybe I haven't. Neither of these could be 6 either, but... Oh, that's why I don't have a 3 here. Okay, th these are 138. And I can clean this up. That's not 1, that's not 8. So that's a triple. Unfortunately, because it crosses a region, I don't have anything else to go with. But what else do I know? Oh, this 4 comes down, that's 8. So three, four, uh, not four. This one six pair tells me that's a four. Eight tells me that's one, that's six. That's eight. This one six is still unresolved. Eight comes up here, that's not eight. Uh, six, nine, that doesn't help me. This isn't three or four. Okay, this is 5 or 6, I think. Yep. Because that can't be 9. This, let's see, neither of these are 4. Uh, 3, 5, 6. And so that's yet another triple. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, we're, yeah. Those two fours, four's a four, one of these two. This can't be four by given, so that's a... I can place four in box seven. <laughs> There's yet another one. Ah, seven, okay, wait a minute. Uh, this eight means that's not eight, and this is. One makes that cell a three. Okay, this is now a triple. Two, six, seven, I think. And this happens to C6 and 7, so that's a two. 
Because now she's two and six. That's seven. Uh, wait a minute. Okay. No. One, two, and seven. That sounds better. This sees one and seven. That's a two. And these are one and seven. Two says that's not two, and this L is. This three comes over here. That's five. This isn't. And neither is that. This five makes that nine. Uh, that three, which makes this six, that three. This three in column one comes up. Eight, nine, that's resolved. Six, five, box one is done. The left third of the grid is complete. Six is going to resolve seven, six, and eight, seven. And the top third of the grid, except for this last one, three, six, is done. Okay. Uh, these cells uh, clearly fall from one, three, six, and what other digit am I missing? Five. These cells appear to one be from one three six and some other digit. Uh, I don't have a seven here, do I? One's missing, two's there, three's missing, four five are there, six and seven are missing, eight and nine are there. Okay, so this sees one six and seven. That's a three. Therefore, that isn't three. One six pair along with 3, means this cell is forced to be 7 at the bottom right of box 8. 3 makes that 5. This is now not 5. That's forced to be 6. So 1, 6. 1, this isn't 1 or 6, that's 3, that's 6. This 5 comes over, 9, Five, not nine. That's forced to be a nine. Uh, these two are one and four, and I can literally just write them in, and there we go. Seventeen and a half minutes. Yeah, not too shabby. I mean, pretty much, I could place enough digits to find nothing else but hidden triples. Now, it's amusing that I basically decided to cover every one of them in, in all kinds of colors. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I have nine. One, two, three, four. Green, orange, green, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight. These have already been covered. Yeah, I have nine different hidden triples in here. But I'll take it, and thank you for joining me this morning.